Another interesting feature with the Quick Mask tool that you really can't do with the Magic Wand tool or the uh, Quick Select tool or anything like that. Eh, you really can't. Um, is let me type Q to get into Quick Mask mode. And you can use semi transparency to select what you're trying to do. So this can be pretty useful if you're trying to composite a bunch of stuff together. Um, what you do is you click on the brush, you go up here under your opacity settings, and you bring it down. I'll do it at like 50%. And then you start painting. Okay, so I'm painting here. And if I click and hold just once, that's going to be a 50% selection. But if I paint over it again, a few times I'm layering up the opacity. Okay, you have to make sure that you do it enough that you have some pixels selected. Then type Q to go into Quick Mask, and the way out my workflow is I paint it. I do it backwards. Uh, I paint the, with black the areas that I actually want to keep, um, which is kind of backwards to the way that the Quick Mask works. So that forces me then to have to do Control Shift I. That's a personal workflow issue. Okay. No big deal. Now I'm going to do Control J and put that onto its own layer and turn off the background layer. And there you can see the checker box, checkerboards through it to test that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, I'm going to turn on my green layer because I always like to kind of green screen things just to see how I'm doing. And I'm going to come down here to my layer 2 click, drag, hold. Notice how I'm getting that double line. When I get that double line, let go. That will put it underneath. And there you can see the opacity or translucence, whichever you prefer, to that layer. And now if I wanted to pick that up again, it's really cool. Hold down the control key, click on the icon, the thumbnail, for layer 5, which is what I just made into Quick Mask. Uh, with semi-transparency. And I'm going to actually, before I do that though, I'm going to rename this layer. And to rename the layer, you double click over the name of the layer and just type in whatever name you want. I'm going to call it Quick Mask Semi. That way I know what's going on. Now hold down the control key and click on the icon. And you will see how you have that selection picked back up. Now I'm going to go back down to my background layer, make it be active, and do Control J, and move that, turn off the original Quick Mask Semi, move that layer up above layer 2, and there it is again. Okay, so I don't have to make that selection again. And if you want to throw a selection away, or a layer away actually, you just drag it to the trash can, or highlight that layer like if I want to get rid of layer 2, which is my green layer. You just highlight it and click on the trash can. Now I have mine set up not to ask me every time. Yours will probably say, are you sure you want to delete the layer? And then click on that and it's gone. Okay, and there's my background layer. I could go through, I could name these. I'm going to name this one Quick Mask. I'm going to get rid of this one because it was the one that was the wrong selection. Throw it away. And now come up here and call this one Quick Select. And that way, if I want to see the difference between these layers, I can do that. I can turn them on and off. But you won't be able to see anything if, unless you turn the background layer off. If you want to get rid of the background layer, you have to, because right now you can't see this little lock box over here. You don't have the option to turn it off and on if you try to throw it away. Oh, okay, that's apparently something new in CS3. You can throw the layer away. All right. Um, Control-Z. If you don't want to throw it away, but you want to change its layer order for some reason, hold down the Alt key and double-click on the layer and that changes it into layer 0 and I can now move it around because if I didn't do that and I tried to move it around it's not going to let me okay 
So there's a few little extra tips for you. I hope that was helpful.